Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have a lot of people wondering what went down with Rick and Olu after last night's episode of Bachelor in Paradise. We have another episode of Bachelor in Paradise tonight. Let's get into the Bachelor Nation News. Follow me on Instagram at dneals, patreon.com slash Dave Neal for private behind-the-scenes content. A lot of people are wondering, Brandon had posted this uh, the, the, this um, uh, statement on his Instagram story, deleted it right after, and then now people are wondering, now that we saw uh, Rick and Olu's exit where they didn't show any sort of behavior unbecoming what the heck might have gone down so we're going to get into the story right now uh, Tony Batch Club said getting more annoyed thinking that Rick and Olu couldn't go to the beach but this guy and his wife got to go for like a month for no like no discernible reasons yeah that's right I mean you know why why didn't Rick get to the beach and let me tell you something Rick might not have gotten to the beach but he sure sure got salt Salty with production. So we'll get into that story. Meanwhile, Jill had said these guys are all hot garbage. She uh, rescinds the hot garbage. Says, let me have it. I deserve it. These men are hot, not garbage. I was clearly not at my best. Yeah, Alex, Rick, Olu, these are all heavy-hitting, gorgeous humans. They're all gorgeous. We know nothing about them. I do want to ask people as we make this video to not go into many... I don't know, dark places with any assumptions as to what might have happened. We don't have the full story, but it is probably the biggest conspiracy in Bachelor Nation right now. So, of course, Logan had uh, what um, I believe was it Brandon who called it uh, Ge Geometry Island, Love Island, Geometry Paradise. What did they call it? Anyway, point being, he's connected to Kate. Kate and Jill were connected through Jacob. Jacob was stiffed by Kate. And then Shanae was with Logan, but now she's possibly with Tyler, but Tyler's with Brittany. Shanae's upset. Sarah got dumped by Logan for Kate. We get it all? Did we get it all? I feel like it's like Goodwill hunting. I'm just like solving equations. All right. So anyway, here's what Rick had to say. We'll get into Olu in a second. Rick had to say this. I never went to the beach, even though my previous post made it look like I did. And then someone said, hope to see you get a real shot next season. Totally unfair. And Rick says, I would never go back. <laughs> he says it like it's some haunted house he went to. I'd never go back there. Not after what I've seen. Uh, so clearly nobody wants their time wasted. And then in the comment section, he elaborated. Someone said, you didn't? He said, no, I ended up in their new twist and then pieced out. And of course, it, the... Um, uh, Someone says, do you even watch? And then Rick responds, hardly anyone does anymore. Burn. That's one of the, but here, okay, look, I get, I get the diss, but that, but that's kind of like you didn't get picked for a team. So you quit. It's like Rick didn't make it to the beach. Fine. That sucks. But to say hardly anyone watches anymore, it's still like a pretty big show on a net net, you know, a network TV. It's still, people still can get to a million Instagram subscribers or followers like Gabby. I mean, there is clout there, but I mean, to defend Rick there, Rick's done nothing wrong. He seems like a nice guy. Um, Somebody said, they straight up wasted you. Meanwhile, we're stuck watching four hours of Logan every week. Someone make it make sense. And he says, it don't. Um, someone said, how was the resort? Not great. <laughs> was the food okay? It was kind of dry. The chicken cacciatore was dry. The toilet paper was one ply. There was a hole in the palapa. Even the cockroaches didn't have personality. He's just going scorched earth. Now, so here's the deal. Rick and Olu, um, here's what we know, right? We watched with our own two eyes. Uh, Jesse Palmer arrives to the new beach, to, to the new resort where the ladies are at and said, which of, which of you, uh, who do you guys have connections with? They list the different guys, Alex, okay, this, that. And then nobody has a connection with Olu and nobody has a connection with Rick. So then Jesse goes, all right, I guess I'll go talk to Rick and Olu and send them home. So then he sends Rick and Olu home, which you would think might be the end of it. Well, people are saying, then why does this exist? Why does it exist that Brandon said this? If they choose to not show the disgusting actions that man did next couple episodes, you better keep me off a podcast. So... I would not want if a random person accused someone of something to just flaunt it and be like, what the hell is this? But Brandon is falling on the show, at least right now, in love with Serene. Serene was sent to hang with Olu, Rick, and all these others. So the question is, since this has been deleted, what the heck, conspiracy music, please, could possibly be a situation that would lead Brandon to say, to say his actions were so disgusting. Uh, the cat's out of the bag. He's going to be asked this for the rest of his life until he says anything. 
Uh, some commenters were trying to piece it together. Did anyone notice that when Jesse asked about Rick, they all said he was sweet and they were sad there wasn't a connection. But when he asked about Olu, they all bluntly said no. And again, that could be com something you completely, totally um, read into. I wonder if he creeped the girls out before that and that's why Jesse removed the guys they weren't interested in to get Olu out without making a scene. So the theory floating, which because there's no other information, uh, was that... In order to get Olu out without kind of bringing that whole storyline, if, if it was something, and again, this is a theory, but if it was something that was kind of like, oh boy, this isn't going to look good on the show. We don't need to talk about this. Let's send Olu home. Rick, you got to go too. Or that then in that case, Rick would have been one that also, but, but to say that Rick had any um, people into him, none of the ladies were into Rick. Now, my comment section on Patreon says, if I wasn't, Layla says, if I wasn't married, I'd be all over Rick and Olu. Yeah, probably at the same time, you know? Why wait? Why, you know, fill up the plate and go uh, go, go, uh, go out to dinner is what, you know, some people might say. So again, some of the comments we'll read for you here. It seemed weird that Jesse came to the hotel to ask the women how it was going with the guys to eliminate a few. They didn't do that with the men and the new women back on the beach. Sounds like Jesse was called in to navigate and maybe de-escalate a tense situation where they wanted him to go. Um, so, of course, everyone's sharing the story. Of course, also, BMAC delete, deleted this. And I could be wrong, but I think this BMAC Instagram post was from, like, last week. So I don't think anybody read into it too much because people were like, all right, well, let's see what happens. And now that nothing actually happened, we go, oh, conspiracy on our hands because something, if it did happen, either Brandon blew it out of proportion or it will be spoken upon. And if it is spoken upon, then why didn't they include it in the edit? You know, that type of thing. To be honest, I think Olu made an unwanted advance on Serene or another woman on the uh, one of the women. This is somebody's opinion, guys. This doesn't mean this is what happened. This man's disgusting actions. Maybe that's why he and Rick had to leave, but Rick was just collateral damage. I mean, why did all the women get to stay on the beach who didn't form connections, but the men who didn't form connections have to leave? Like Bachelor Australia girl Florence. She's barely been on the screen. She didn't form any connection and has barely talked to any guy, yet she's allowed to stay. Kind of weird. To be honest, Olu repeatedly asking Victoria to get in the pool with him last week rubbed me the wrong way. Okay, so look, I think it's important that we look at this and go, huh, interesting, but don't know, but don't know. And unlike other stories where there are rumors that have credible sources, I'll tell you right now, I've talked to every single person I know, which isn't many, but I've talked to... Uh, guys like Reality Steve and some others, and nobody knows what could have happened. This isn't on anybody's radar. So whatever may or may not have happened, it's probably something very specific and very unique to a specific situation that might not have made its rounds around the house. My DMs are open if anyone wants to let me know. It also could be, it also could very well be that nobody had a connection with Olu and he's a perfectly nice guy. Absolutely, we have no evidence to believe otherwise except for this rumbling by Brandon Jones, which you would have to think. If I'm, put it this way, if I'm Olu and Brandon Jones posted this and all these rumors start to question my character, I'd be like, hey, Brandon, could you could you tell, if the action's not as disgusting as people think it is, just say what the action is. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes the truth is 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 de-escalates what the mind could think something could be. Does that make sense? So the other thing I wanted to share with you guys, in a completely separate topic, is Restless Road uh, sang on The Bachelorette, and they sang on the date that Rachel was on, and I believe it was the date where she already kicked off uh, the, uh, the uh, race boy but here they are let's have a listen uh shouting out to rachel of the bachelor on a date that rachel was on and uh we're gonna sing this song for rachel and we're gonna manifest the right man true love tonight by the way notice his notice his voice now versus the voice when they actually start playing the song for rachel. ready full time stay. Uh, the, the soundtrack is so bad. I mean, it's, it's like he goes into a different voice. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. Uh, Growing Old With You, it's out now. So uh, I don't blame him. Restless Road using Rachel's storyline brings her on stage. It's like, can you retweet her song, Rachel? Absolutely. Good for them. Up and coming uh, musicians like that. By the way, I do want to shout out the, the Patreon members uh, uh, offering their live opinions right now. Layla said, Olu asking people to hang out in a pool is creepy. Please. I agree with you. Um, there's nothing that we saw on camera that would... 
um, alert anybody to any creepy behavior. You know, going for a swim, not creepy. Um, there was other, so there was, I mean, we, I don't know. I don't know, but I do know this story is probably not going to go away. There'll probably be talk on podcasts or chatter about it. And when that comes up, we will get into it. So stick around. More content coming your way. No pre-show live stream tonight, but I'll be live right after tonight's Bachelor in Paradise episode at 10 p.m. East Coast, 7 p.m. Pacific. All right, guys. See you in a bit.